Hello and welcome back to Indoor Games. My name is Casey and today we will once again be continuing on with our Imperial Agent story playthrough of Star Wars The Old Republic. I changed my outfit. Well, I just went to the to the fleet and I went to the supply place and I got just your standard basic, you know, outfit. Which it, it will most likely change. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Before I read that other thing, I'm going to talk to her. Let's start with talking to you. How about that? You ready to talk? You smell burnt flesh? That's my fingers. Oh. Gun overheated in the last fight. Gross. So, all that one-shot kill stuff you do, where'd you learn it? Uh, intelligence taught me. The Empire puts operatives through extensive weapons training. I bet they do. I learned to shoot with a friend of mine. First year out of rat attack, I was a mess. Me and M. Spichel hooked up on a tramp freighter. She was running too. We stole a holdout blaster and shared it. Tell me about your friend. You said her name was Anne Spichel. Twi'lek name. Think they say it easier. She had gang connections, so one time we were raiding the ship's cargo bay, planning to sell whatever we get. Turns out it was an exchange ship, syndicate stuff. We've just pried open the storage crates when we figure it out. We're dead meat, right? Not a good situation, no? With one holdout blaster, the odds weren't in your favor. No. Best we can figure. I torch the place while Ampsby grabs a dock worker. Then we sit and wait for the exchange. Enforcers finally show. We blame the dock worker and say we came to stop him. Prove our exchange material. They bought it. What about the dock worker? What happened to the man you framed? Yeah. Oh. Ampsby shot him so he couldn't rat us out. What? She was fun. We ever run into her, we should get together. Time of the century. Oh, look at that. You want to talk to me again, eh? I, why would you want to do that? Agent, we need to talk. We're doing that. I just heard from headquarters. Keeper finally came through on a promise he made when I joined up. That sounds like good news. I'm not sure why that's cause for complaint. Turns out they took a little long. I asked you guys to find Anne Spichel, old friend of mine. I told you about her. Yeah. We hooked up after I left Rat Attack. Last time I saw her, she saved my life and got me to Hada. I owe her big. Now she's in trouble. Tell me the situation. What sort of trouble? She crossed some exchange buddies on Nar Shada. Report didn't give details, but I can guess how it went down. I'm gonna head over, kill the exchange, and save the girl. You should come with. If that's anything like crossing the streams, you're, you know, you're not supposed to do that. What's in it for me? Say I help you, help your friend. Do we celebrate after? Oh yeah. I've even got a surprise plan for us. You're gonna like it. Fireworks? Bowling. Oh, I hope it's bowling. Your mission to eliminate the Eagles Terrace Network was proceeding well, but now the work is on hold. Oh no. Jar Zord's daughter and successor to Jar... To Jar... <laughs> I can't talk. To Darth Jadis, a Dark Council member slain in a terrorist attack is demanding your assistance. Well, why don't they just do it themselves? I'm not a Darth or anything like that. I don't have a lightsaber. I don't know how to throw lightning in people's faces. Come on, you guys can do it. Help me out. Vord, I think. Something like that. Vord, Yano, one of Darth Jadis' advisors and the last person to see him alive has fled to Narshadar. And our sword wants you to find Yano so she can learn her father's secrets. 
Travel to Narshadar, go to the upper office atrium and find Yanel's hideout. Okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna find the hideout. If I can remember how to get out of the ship. <laughs> oh, that looks pretty cool, though. What are you weird looking guys talking about? Anything interesting? No? What do you think? Don't be stupid. I'm, I'm, I'm trying very hard not to. It's not very easy. It's not an easy thing to do for me. Now, if you told me be stupid, I can handle that. I'm pretty good at that. Some might say I'm a master at it. Okay. What you guys talking about? Vehicle pads are currently open for business. Um, here. Have a safe and pleasant stay. Oh my goodness, they're way ahead of me now. I'll never catch up. Oh. Where did they go? <laughs> they vanished into the ether. They went into the darkness of the night. They did indeed do that. Well, it's not really, they can't really do that here. It's, um, where is it dark? Nowhere. Not even down here. It's like a freaking bright light in this freaking place. Oh, bright light. A bright light's still a thing, I wonder? You, you just get out of You are so weird looking when you get out of vehicles. Must say, I kind of like it. Kinda like it. I don't know, it just look it's a totally cat thing to do, I don't know. And as we all know, he is a cat. So the more cat like things he does, the better. The better. You didn't see me. Oh he saw me. He totally did. Come on, why am I so slow? <laughs> you know what, buddy? That's what? What's what in the butt? Don't know that song? Look it up. <laughs> the South Park version is the best, in my opinion. But my opinion may or may not hold any weight to it, so I don't know. You could just ignore it if you want.
Yeah. You want me to get rid of everybody, don't you? Okay. We'll do it. I was... I was gonna go invisible and sneak up on him. You ruined it. You ruined my whole thing. I'm gonna ruin you now. Still no good, eh? Ah! Alright, I did it. I'm amazing. What, Cleo? We did it. We did it. We are the champions, my friend. A girdle? It's got a face on it, it looks like. Smiley face. <laughs> Taking it. Get away! I've done nothing to you! I've touched nothing on this dust ball! No talk to no one! Hello? Are you Vjord Yarnall? You know who I am! You wouldn't be here otherwise. The Dark Council hired you, didn't it? Or the Galactic Republic, the Macrosa Order, the Huts. Uh, it doesn't matter. My master is dead. Darth Jadis is gone. I have no one left to betray. I'm with his daughter, bro. I'm with Jadis's daughter. I'm not asking you to betray anyone. Darth Jorid sent me. Jorid? Ah, the idiot girl thinks she can equal her father, eh? You really don't understand. Lord Jadis must have made preparations for his death. He was power, and fire, and brilliance. The instant the Master died, I promise his contingency plans went into action. They'll bring doom to everything Lord Jadis ever touched, and I want no part of it. Doom and gloom, where things go boom. In Dexter's lab. No choice. It's already too late for that. Fool! Everyone Jadis ever touched will all be destroyed. Oh my goodness. You, you, didn't, you didn't have to do that. Still alive, but he's not getting up soon. Now we have to drag him to the ship. Oh, why, why do we have that option? She's going to be mad at me if I do that. I wonder if she approves of this. I'm not giving him to Jared. Works for me. You can tell Zord he slipped and fell down the stairs. Hmm. I don't know what to think of that one. I mean, isn't, isn't she gonna be mad? <laughs> right? She's, she's not gonna be very happy with this. I mean, I would assume. But we all know what assuming does. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's what happens when you assume too much. Guys with laser pistols just start shooting at you and chasing you through hallways. It'll be a lesson to never assume anything ever. Would you guys quit it? What do you know? Nobody chased me through another hallway. Come on, you can do this. 
Yeah, they're... Who'd you say installed them again? Some guy. Self-taught, gave me a sweet deal. Uh-huh. I'm telling you, these street docs are the way to go. They don't waste time or money on professional training. So they pass those savings on to you. Bro, he did not seem impressed at all with your implants. He <laughs> thought... Not at all did he think that those were good. You probably should have got a second opinion before you did that. Maybe came to your buddy and been like, Hey, what do you think about this? Welcome. And he would have been like, that's dumb. Have a safe and pleasant stay. Well, I guess I could have gone to my hollow terminal first. Well, I'm already going here. Man, the electric bill in this place must be freaking ridiculous. Must be out of this world. I mean, look at that up there. That's got to just alone. I mean, the triple X is on it and everything. That's got to be expensive. I mean, who even signs here and they're like just everywhere. Could you imagine if this was your apartment? <laughs> like right there and there's just or over here and just That would be nuts. You'd never get any sleep. Yeah, when they're the city that never sleeps, it's this freaking place. <laughs> it's definitely here. Oh, there's a thing here to, to, I guess, too. I will do that. I might as well. I'm already here. I'm going to ignore everyone's face on the way to the place. I'm ignoring you. Ha ha. What are you going to do about it? There's nothing you can do about an ignoring person. Because all they gotta do is just keep ignoring you. Well, maybe if you took off your glove and smacked him in the face with it, he might take notice of that. He'll see it as an ultimate challenge. He'll have to accept. You know, I kind of, I've kind of always wanted to do that. But wouldn't that be so me <laughs> messed up to just smack somebody in the face with a glove? I can see why that would start a duel because, I mean, once that happens, it's, it's almost like, it just, it's like war is on, man. I can't let you smack me in the face with a, like that. I mean, it'd probably be better if you did it with your open palm, you know, like an actual slap. You, you, there's no coming back from a grown man slapping you in the face with a, <laughs> with a glove. You could never live that down unless you, <laughs> unless you go through with a duel and you take him out. No one will ever take you serious ever again after that. I mean, imagine it's your first day at high school, and you get there, and some guy walks up and smacks you in the face with a glove, and you just take that and just kind of wimp out and don't do anything about it. And then it's your the day you're graduating. <laughs> Four years later, people are still going to be making fun of you for that. <laughs> They're going to do it. Come on out of there, bro. I'm here to set you free and then destroy you.
one more. Here we go. Oh, I got a Spring Abundance Festival ribbon. Oh, I love those things. Can't go wrong with a good ribbon. Well, I want a quick travel there, though. Let me do it. It's not fair. That is a long table. I'm still ignoring you guys. I went the wrong direction, so I'm double ignoring you because it's not the right way. And I don't want to go the wrong way. I definitely want to go the right one. Because everything I own is in that box to the left. I don't want to go that direction. Why would I want to go there? Well, I guess if all my stuff is there, I do want to get it. <laughs> guess I wouldn't want to just leave it there. Well, I go over there, then I go back the other way. <laughs> Put it all back. I'm not going anywhere. My name is on the title of this house. Oh, these guys again. It's the happy bunch. How's it going, guys? You have made an unforgivable mistake. This is not necessary, Yukami. We should not be enemies. You began this conflict. All our businesses suffer. Now you all die. You pathetic fool. That's big talk from a terrified little gangster. The attacker. You have weakened my forces, but my death squads wade through blood as we speak. Your head will be my trophy before dawn. Listen, Pale Diplomat, this is your fault. It looks bad, I know, but I've been working on a strategy. You know, my head is a trophy. At least I'll have a good trophy. Everyone will see that and go, wow, that's an amazing trophy. Where'd you get that? At least I'll have something to look forward to. I'm getting tired of you. Leave the strategizing to people who know better. Let her speak. If she fails us again, she knows she'll pay the price. Our guards captured a few of the gangsters. The exchange is based in the tunnels running under this sector. Maybe now's the time to push. Wipe them out. Their leaders, along with Yukabi. The DX Annihilator Network approves. Perhaps I think I speak on behalf of the Shadow Syndicate when I ask. With due respect, can this be done? The price will be very high. Your Syndicate is comprised of the most powerful people on Narshadar. People? Your lives are worth a They're lot. They're barely people at all. What are you talking about? Very well, extort your price. For protection, we have little choice but to pay. That is true, we'll you have, have to very little choice. members of Yukabi's inner circle. All of them are cybernetically enhanced. Custom-built masterworks, equal to a dozen Mandalorian warriors. When they're dead, proceed to Yukabi's chambers. Do... whatever you have to do. Do whatever. You gotta do. I wanna pick both. Let me pick both. Okay. I guess here we go. Hmm. 
Not that I particularly want to do this, but here we are. We're doing it. And that is just one loose freaking hanging wire. They need to... They need to fix that. There's another one. Why is there so much slack on that? That is crazy. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. I don't know. I don't know anything. Oh yeah, I made it right over that. I thought it was impossible, but somehow I managed. What in the freaking world is going on here? Yeah. You've done well. <laughs> Congratulations. You've done well. I'm better. I'm way better at dancing than you. Look at that. Look at me boogieing down. You can't do that. Look at that. Way better than you at dancing. Look at that. Look how good I am at dancing. I'm way better at it than you ever be. Look, and they're cheering me on too. Look. Oh, she doesn't seem very impressed. She's like, could you stop freaking dancing? <laughs> okay, fine. I was having so much fun doing that, though. I hope somebody took a picture of me dancing. It was amazing. Show you my gun. They can see the gun. It's right there. I can see it. Look. It's on your back. It's very obvious. Come on out. I'll show you my gun. They can see it. <laughs> It'd be really nice if they just went, yeah, we can see it already. Oh, is that what that is? Money? Money. Ooh, it's Ukabe's base. I'm gonna sneak by everyone and just make them all look bad. Oh, you are gonna get fired. Because you can't see me. Oh, you're one of the guys. All right. Another one. Peekaboo. Did you just knock me on the ground? How freaking dare you do that? I don't think he did. Ooh. Door panel. 
amazing. A table. Would you look at that? A freaking table. I've never seen one of those. Is anybody there? This is Motor Bison. Please respond. Receiving your signal. I'm here. Go ahead. This is an emergency. The exchange is attacking. Yukabi is here. Someone sold us out. Get back as soon as you can. We can't hold them. Oh, no. So I totally care about that. I mean, I'm playing this character way meaner than I was the last one, ba mainly because they're they just are meaner. <laughs> like the dark side choices on this character are just they're kind of worse. I don't know. I, from the little bit of dark side choices I've done playing a Jedi, some of them are kind of messed up. But I haven't really done very many. I always feel like I'm supposed to not do that, and then I feel bad. <laughs> it's like, it's just a video game, bro. It's like, I can't help it. Is, it, is anybody else like me when you make decisions in video games where you do something messed up <laughs> and you feel bad but you but you're like why do you feel bad it's a video game it's not like it actually happened oh I haven't discovered it well, why haven't I done that Maybe I should go discover it then. You guys keep it up. Keep it up. They're the happiest people on this planet, I imagine. Yeah, they just announced there's going to be a Threes Company Marathon in a couple days. They're thrilled. Followed by a Gilligan's Ma Island Marathon. Everybody wants one of that. Right, little buddy? It's a really tall building. Look at that. It's even got lights on it, too. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to do that. Oh man, I wanted to do it from up here. What shame. shall it be? Does one die? To both? Kill her, that was our deal. You horrible worm. You are both wretched. And I now agree. you here to rescue the woman and the Hello. traitor. Hello. I am Ukabe. Let my people go. I'm giving you one chance. Step away from those two now. No. Look upon my body. Cortosis skin grafts, Ooh. intravenous colto injection system, Gross. holographic targeting array. You are only mortal. I will always prevail. How do you know I'm a cat? I have at least nine lives. That doesn't sound very mortal to me. My goodness, what is he doing? Oh my. Now will I let her go? I never let her go. <laughs> I 
I don't think he's getting up. Kaldo injections can't restore a dead man. Yes, very good. You should be proud to have saved us from that monster. What are you? You're a monster. Don't you dare talk. You brought him here. You tried to get me killed. That's hardly a surprise. What else do you expect from a heart? It was not only me. The Shadow Syndicate agreed. Erko wanted it most of all. Maybe, but you made the call to Akabi. Only after you made him our enemy, you cut our profits in half. This is business. The Empire has been a good partner to us, but this woman, she is incompetent, interfering. You have seen this. She represents the Empire. Defy this woman, and you defy the greatest power in the galaxy. No, all I want is our flexibility. She dies, and we will be happy. The Empire will be happy. We are happy. How dare you? Kill her, let business proceed. Let a smarter girl take her place in the Shadow Syndicate. We'll reward you, our wealth and power. Yours. I'm going to see how my companion responds to this, and if she doesn't like it, I'm going to pick the other option. Your wealth and. Sorry. I don't think he's getting up. Don't. I don't see the problem. Maybe. The Shadow Syndicate is in my debt. Don't oh, she approved. It. Why? Why? Well, mainly because my companion liked it and. My superiors would probably like it. Excellent, the syndicate should convene. Come. The unfortunate loss of moral vision will not inhibit our alliance with the Empire. The Could... DX Annihilator Network will supply data on exchange activities. They will reassemble. We'll work to crush them and all the Empire's enemies on Narshada. Our promise. As much as I feel bad for that happening, could you imagine what Keeper would say if I told him I ruined an entire. In one of the alliances the Empire has with a big group just because of that one woman that they all don't like <laughs> I don't think they I don't think he'd be happy I think he'd be very angry with me I mean he already told me that I was being too nice <laughs> you better not think of betraying me if I get in trouble for this I'll be back for you what just happened did he move not it we will keep you no longer enjoy our city as much as it to experience and much to offer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, sure. You got a bunch of lights to look at. That's about all you got going for you, buddy. It's a red light district. I mean, I can't, I can't do anything with that in the video game. Oh, I found it. Should have done that a long time ago. Oh, I might as well go do that while I'm here. Go to the exchange holding area. All right, let's go. Right back to where I just came from. I probably should have done this while I was over there. I do feel like these story missions for the, the planet are going by much quicker than they normally do. That mm, is, must be because I can just sneak past everybody. I don't really have to worry about it. I bet you that's what it is. Because I can just do this. Nobody bothers me. I'm going the wrong way. See, and before, if I would have done something like that and gone the wrong way, there's nothing I could do. I would have to fight all those guys. What you doing? What in the world are you doing? Is that a vending machine? Oh, did it take your dollar? 
You gotta shake it. Shake it. It'll fall out if you shake it. He knows. He knows that's what you have to do, but he's not telling. He's like, huh, look at her. She's just banging on it like that's gonna do something. She's gotta shake it. I'll come back later. Maybe she'll... If I remember, I'll come and check on her and see if she, she successfully managed to do it. I doubt it. Take this, ugly. That's even worse. Hmm. Ooh, a keypad, I think. I think that's most of the gang. Hey, Ansby, get out here. You're rescuing me? What, am I your princess? Maybe. If you were a princess, <laughs> you might be worth something. <laughs> that was a sick burn. Shut up and toss me a gun. Who's your friend? Hello, gorgeous. You must be Anne Spichel. Oh, she approved. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. Yeah? How did a guy like you end up with her? I'm a cat. He has better taste than you think. Found him at Nemro the Hut's place. But don't hold that against him. Wasn't planning to. <laughs> you guys timed it good. By the way, they were going to hang me to broil on a hollow sign. You got a way off world? Grab your stuff and meet us at the spaceport. I can get you a ride. Yeah, I got a spaceship. Whoa. That's what it sounds like when I used a spaceship. Oh, now I'm going to flirt with her. She's pretty, but but you. <laughs> Your friend's gorgeous. She doesn't compare to you. Of course not. Now. Of course remember not. Remember I said I had a surprise? There's a bounty on Anne Spichel. We saved her. We own her. Now we're going to sell her. Are you freaking serious? Holy crap. I'm not sure I understand. You're serious. You want to give her to a bounty hunter. Look at me. I owed her for saving my life. But you know how she did that? She stuffed me in a box and shipped me to Hutta. I spent 12 weeks in muck working for a chem farmer. She humiliated me. I owe her for that too. <laughs> but you're just mean. Well, let's do it then. Your friend. Your call. We'll meet her at the spaceport. Always knew I liked you. And I promise, the money's gonna be good. I mean, this was your whole thing. The only reason I was doing this is because you wanted me to do it. <laughs> if, this, if this is what you really want. Who am I to deprive you from what you really want? Took two Beautiful steps and I was lost. I didn't know where to go at that point. Have a safe and pleasant stay. I can't believe you're just gonna do this to your friend. <laughs> I saved you. She's here. Come get her. I know with friends like that, who needs freaking enemies? I mean, they basically are, right? We've all had friends like that, though. Where you look back on it, after you, you haven't seen them in a few years, and you look back and you're like, I don't think they were really my friend. We've all got those. It just sucks when you look back and it's pretty much every single one of them were like... <laughs> we're exactly the same. You may have had a couple that weren't. Oh, oh no, I crushed him. Oh no. <laughs> oh, 
I was like, what is going on? Oh, I miss having a lightsaber. Oh. Hey, girl. What's up? Hey, you made it all right. Yeah. Ran into one of Zenjo's guys. Left him a scar, but he's still breathing. So a ride sounds good right now. Give me 20 minutes, I'll set you up. Keep her company. I'll be back soon. All right. I really do appreciate the help, but... Can I ask you something? Go ahead. Ask anything you want. Okay, this'll sound odd. But what did Kaleo say about us? She tell you we've known each other for years? Met after she left her home world? Big, long sob story? Something like that. You're telling me it's not true? She's a habitual liar. I knew her for six months, and she'd been on her own forever. I don't even know where she's really from. So I have to wonder, is she really here to help? Or am I in even worse trouble? Well, I'm not gonna get on her bad side. <laughs> I mean, look at what she's doing to someone she considers her friend. I'm not touching that with a ten-foot freaking pole. Trust me. We're here to help. Kaleo owed you her life. She's here to repay, that's all. Right. Guess we just wait then. Sure, what do you want to do in the meantime? Checkers? Chess? Ping pong? Badminton? Look who's back. This the girl? You set me up. You set me up! Poor baby. I survived Hutta when you sent me there. If you can't take what this man puts you through, you get what you deserve. Do you sure you want to do this? You can still let her go. Is this really what you want? Yeah. I swear I'll kill you. I'll kill you! You play along pretty good. Here's your cut of the profits. Turns out she's worth a bundle. Don't ever lie to me, got it? If you try something like this again, there oh, will be consequences. Not what I wanted. Hey, you made it all right. Yeah. Give me keep I Ask anything you want. Okay, she You're telling me she's so Kale Right. Look, this the so You can Yes, you pl We make a pretty good team, you and me. If I ever go freelance, remind me to keep you around. Who says you could get rid of me? Come on, we should celebrate. This is the moment. Take notice of this moment. Remember, this is eventually going to be you. She's going to do this to you eventually. There's no way that she's not going to... I mean, she knew that girl for six months. <laughs> and she's already... like. Imagine how mad she... she don't trust her. I don't remember anything about this story. <laughs> oh, can you... Just based on how that went, I would imagine that I would... I'm gonna try to keep her on my good side, so she never does anything like that to me. Definitely not gonna send her in a box to Hutta. Not gonna do that. Or maybe I will. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. This is Keeper to Cypher 9. 
I understand you're running an errand for Darth Jorid. What up, bro? It may not be my place to know a Dark Council member's business, so I won't ask what she wants. I only want to advise you to take care. Is everything all right? That's unusually thoughtful of you, Keeper. These are unusual circumstances. Would that they were different. Jorid has relocated to Darth Jadis' old chambers on Drummond Cass. She awaits you there. Keeper, out. All right, Keeper. What are you out of? Oh, fine. Let's talk to her again real quick. Well, that didn't last. Cash from Anspachel is gone. Cheapskate bounty hunter. You and Anspy talk much when you were together? Swap stories about the old days? Gossip about me? Oh, she told stories. He said one time he tried to pull a scam on a Republic planning droid. Yeah, that turned out to be a mess. Whole thing got me thinking, though. I've had a lot of partners over the years. Her, Namro. Guy named Rawl used to hijack Republic supply ships. He had money, he had brass. How do you think you measure up? I measure up well. If I were to bet, I'd say Rawl wasn't as exciting as me, otherwise he'd still be with him. Huh. Okay, I guess that explains one. Still, seems weird that with all the nasty, smart, rich people I've been with, I ended up with you. Yeah, we're both lucky. Fate's been kind to us. Oh. After all, our association has worked out well. Fine. I thought she would like that. Well, that didn't last. Cash from Anne's... You and... Just remember, she's saying that all these people were her partners. <laughs> Just, yeah, hold on. Just like me. If... <laughs> Yes, you're just slumming it. We all need a break from the high life sometimes. I'm just joking, Agent. Joking. Get used to it. I don't know if I can. I'll try really hard, though. But in the meantime, while I'm trying to do that, I'm going to end this one right here at this moment in time. I do hope everyone enjoyed themselves. I know I sure did. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and all of that good stuff. And of course, if you didn't, please also leave a like, subscribe, and all of that. Please do it. Come on, please. I'll, I'll like you more if you did it. Come on, just do it. Just do it. Come on. But either way, you don't have to. But what you do have to do is, as usual, you got to have a good day. Because without a good day, you got nothing. And after that good day, hopefully I shall see you all in the next one. And I guess now there really is only one thing left to say, and that is, goodbye.